It is a nice, cold, snowy day here in Colorado, and what better way to celebrate it than being stuck in the studio, painting and creating, and I thought I'd give you a little inside peek as to what my studio is like. So this is where all the magic happens in Modern Magic. Let's check it out. All right, so I have three main sections in my studio. The very first one being right by the door. And this is where I do all of my painting. Um, you'll see I have a ring light up right here that I've just recently configured to this space, which is pretty fun. Um, and this allows me to take awesome video footage of when I'm creating the artwork. Um, it also is the best light to create a equal light around the surface and when the sun goes down I don't even notice it because it's so flooded with with light here. Um, I also will have um, color sheets so these are all of my Prismacolor markers, I have all of my paints here, I have all my colored pencils here so that I know what color everything is actually going to be when it hits the paper um, and I know how to blend things. Then I have this fun little cabinet, which is just filled with art supplies. So I have all my gouache paints and some of my graphite stuff on top. Then we get into markers and then we kind of just get into a hodgepodge of ink and pencils, and markers and kind of everything else. So this is station one. Um, the fun thing about this is uh, this was my grandmother's sewing table and I removed the sewing machine out of the table and inserted lights in there. So it also becomes a light board anytime that I need to do tracing projects. So fun little section over there. And then phase two of the studio is just my desk. And um, this is where I do all of my um, digital artwork as well as just like admin stuff, the boring, paying the bills, checking emails, that kind of stuff. Uh, so I have a two screen setup with my laptop and my monitor. The monitor doesn't have accurate coloring. So anytime I need to do anything where I'm like really playing with colors, I bring it over to the smaller screen and I'll play with colors on there. And then for detail work, I can move it back over to the big screen and get, um, get all the details in there. So um, I spend a lot of time doing digital work, website work, all that kind of stuff here. Um, I'm still doing some work for um, creatives and um, small businesses helping them with their marketing. So that all takes place here. And then of course, like Zoom meetings and whatnot. In which case I have this fun backdrop, which is all of my wallpapers and fabrics, which are available on my website um, so that people can kind of see some of the stuff that I've created in the past. Then lastly, we have the easel. So this is where I do more um, large format work. I'll also have some stuff hanging up here of past projects I've been working on so that I can continue to view them throughout the day and see if there's anything I notice that needs to be fixed, little details, um, or sometimes it's just fun to have a little pop of color over there. Um, you'll see I have a lot of my pastels set up over here. This chalk pastel set I've had since I was a child, which is kind of hilarious. And then these I got when I was in college and they are the best chalk pastels. Um, so I'm growing my collection of these. Um, I prefer to do chalk pastel on the easel because it's upright, which means all of the dust will then fall into this little crevice here and then I can wipe it clean. Um, it's just chalk pastel, the biggest problem with it is that the dust can be toxic. So finding ways to keep it clean and let it fall in natural ways is better um, than just like blowing on it. Um, and then, of course, I have th these paintings up here are from my Silent Generations collection, along with these two. Um, they're all for sale on my website as well. These are the originals. And then I have some fun other pieces over here. And um, this beautiful baby is my printer that prints all of my art prints. Um, I have some fun photo reference books, baskets of sketchbooks, um, just some fun things in there. And then in the closet, and here I've organized, um, these are the prints and stationery I have already printed in on hand. Um, and then this is all of the like shipment stuff, packaging the prints, getting ready for shipments, um, just some fun storage stuff. And then I have like drawers and drawers of like photography gear. <laughs> I've got, you know, my cutting board. I've got fun lenses and photography gear. Um, I've got a drawer filled with paper. 
So all, all things you could possibly need to run a creative business are, are really throughout this entire studio. That is a quick sneak peek into my art studio with my three different stations, uh, everything that goes into creating the prints and getting them put together for shipment. Uh, it's really where all the magic happens. I definitely spend 90% of my days in this in this small little room, but I love it. I love the, the wallpaper that fills it. I love the colors in it. Uh, I've definitely created a cozy space that keeps me calm and inspired. And I hope that um, the home decor and the artwork that I create can also create spaces like that for you.